Hey, my name is Ivy Starnes and I'm a gated horse trainer in Fort Worth, Texas. Today we're talking about how to get gait from the trotty horse. Now, I'm not talking about your average quarter horse or Arabian or thoroughbred or pony. I'm talking about a gated horse that can gait naturally or they're one of the gated breeds but they're trotting. The thing is you have to understand that trotty horses need to be trained a little bit different than pacey horses and pacey horses need to be trained differently than gated or than trotty. Now you also have the effect where your trotty horse may move toward the pace and your pacey horse may move toward the trot and this video is kind of in preparation for the clinics that I'll be doing this year because I at last year I had a lot of horses come to clinics that were trotty and the owners have been trying to do all of the things that I recommend for pacey horses but were unsuccessful and this was not a surprise. There are many trotty horses out there and they're very easy to fix. So this video will help with that and I highly recommend you take a look. Now a lot of these are going to be excerpts from videos that are available on the private training group. So if you want to see the complete videos I'm going to be referencing that there are the full videos in the private training group. So if you have questions go ahead and comment. This video is going to be a little long so I'm going to go ahead and get started. This first horse uh, the first thing I want to talk about though before I get actually started is that what we do on day one with a trotty horse looks very different than day two or three. Day one, we're going to be asking the whole horse to lift his head up, and this is because the trotty horse is more square, and we're trying to get him to move toward the pace. Again, this video is brief, and if you want a more detailed explanation, you can find more on my private training group. But the idea is we lift the head to get them to hollow their back, but only temporarily. Okay, this is really important for you to hear. We're only lifting the head enough to get them to move their feet differently, and then we stop and praise. And what's going to follow are several horses, so video proof that this works and that they don't stay high-headed. Okay, really important. If people start misunderstanding this, I probably will take the video down because I'm tired, <laughs> like most trainers, of repeating myself on this point. What you do on day one or the beginning is not what the final product is supposed to look like. So this is a little Morgan horse. He'd been ridden but never trained to gait. What we're gonna do, because we're videoing it, I'm gonna let him go forward and I'm gonna let him do what he wants. He can trot, he can pace, he can gait. Um, he's very gated. I totally saw gait, so don't worry. But I, for, so we can see the before and after, we're gonna let him move how he wants. And we're gonna start with the gait and we're gonna end the session with the canter. So I always like to end sessions with cantering so that you can, when they do well, you can get off and put them away. Except if you have a really lazy horse, I may throw some cantering in in the middle because it gets their energy up. Good, there's some gating. All right. That's some nice gating and there's the trot. Don't jump that, just go around it and get you up. He's like, I'm going to head right for it. I'm like, okay, that'll be exciting. So we've got some gating, and then there's the trot. Oh, yeah, that's uncomfortable. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. And you probably get quite a bit of that on the trail when you, when you go for a ride, and, yeah, that makes them not fun. <laughs> okay. So here's a really important thing with trotty horses. We're going to be asking for head up short term. Like today may look a little yucky, but I tell people this is day one. Day three will look very different. It'll be much subtler, much easier for the horse. The other thing is when you have a trotty horse, you have to have them relaxed as well. But does this horse look pretty relaxed? Yeah. Some trotty horses come and they're pretty high headed and we do work on head down first. But he's pretty, he's like, yeah, whatever. And that's good. But if you have a nervous, like you can see this in the Peruvian Pasos. I've worked with other, you know, spotted saddle horses that were trotty, but they were high headed. So the first thing we do is head down. But he doesn't really need that. He just need to get him out of the trot. Does that make sense? So we're gonna ask him to go forward into gate. And if he gates a little bit, we're gonna stop and praise, but I'm gonna kinda let him trot and I'm gonna lift my reins. I'm gonna pull up to get him out of the trot. And when he gets out of it, we're gonna stop and praise. There you go. Good boy. You're okay. You're doing so good. I'm going this way. There's gating. I like that. That's very nice. And there's trotting. So we're going to lift up and go forward.
there. Good. That was good. Parker, I'm going to stop. Can I get you to drag both the poles out? Please? Can I get you to drag both of the poles by the wall? Yeah. So that was good. So this, is, this, is gonna, this horse on Sunday is going to be amazing. He's going to be gating amazing. So today, it's, it's getting him out of the trot. So we lift up. And the other thing, too, that to remember is when you lift up, the, a lot of horses naturally want to slow down. So you just use your legs to say, keep going forward. All right? And as soon as they smooth out, we drop our hands, and then we stop and praise. Yeah, if you have a question, you'll have to, like, because it's a little harder to hear with the rain. Thank you, Parker. Good job. All right. Uh, what do you mean the same reaction? Lift up, yes. Any kind of snaffle is fine. And once the horse understands it, you move past day one and two, you can do it in a shanked bit. Like you can do it whatever you normally ride in. It's just the first day. If you, shanked bits are made to have the horses lower their head. That's the, the history of shanked bits, is to get them to drop their head. So if I have a shanked bit in and I'm pulling on it and I want their head to go up, they are getting mixed signals, yeah. But at the beginning, so right, the first, this, you're gonna see me do this today, but on Sunday you're gonna see me do this. It's gonna be that subtle, does that make sense? And so if you don't have this bit, just a snaffle. Or a bitless bridle if you ride bitless, but a snaffle, do it in the arena where you're safe, and then when you go outside, put a shanked bit in, but he'll already know. He'll understand what the head up means. Is what? No, French link is great. Yeah, that's perfect. Yes. Yeah, French link is a great snaffle. It's perfect. All right, here we go, Sonny. Yeah, this could be any snaffle. It doesn't have to be the rock and S. And it could just be any snaffle. And again, you can switch to a shanked bit. There we go. So that's gating. It's a little trotty, so you'll see me pulling up. There's trotty. Pull up. Keep going forward with your legs. There we go. There's trotty. There. Perfect. And you guys hear him going, his, his butt going, quing, 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 quing. that's okay. Good boy. Horses do that. Okay. That was great. So we got some trot, right? I was pulling up. And then he gated right there, and so then I stop, right? Because we, we want the horse to understand what we want. So I am actually <laughs> in the process. I just started, I'm writing a, a book on gated training. And so because I'm writing this, and I'm actually having to write it out, my thoughts, so I, I'm writing trot fox of gated stop and praise. Just skipping ahead. Uh, praise Where we gate again. We stop it. Good. A little bit trotty, so lift up. A little bit trotty. A little bit trotty. Just use my legs to say go forward. A little trotty. A little trotty. A little trotty. A little trotty. And remember, he doesn't know what we're asking. Almost, a little trotty. Knee forward, good. That was nice right there. Don't trot, don't trot, I wanna slow you down. Don't trot. Don't canter either. <laughs> He's not allowed to canter either, yet. We're not asking for the canter. There. That was smooth. And again, I, like I, you want smooth. That's what I'm looking for. Good boy. So that is day one. That's what it looks like on the first day. It kind of looks yucky, right? A lot of pulling up. Um, that last little bit, I'm not sure why I didn't stop and praise sooner, but like, be aware, I probably should have stopped and praised sooner because this is he was just learning at the very beginning. That's day one. So then I want to show you some. This is from the next day. So this is at a clinic. 
this is that's the first day at a clinic and he's already gating this is day two and day three i'm not going to show you footage because i don't have any of me riding him it's just his owner riding him and getting a ton of gait so you want to know why you come to a clinic is because we can make changes like this in just three days so here we go that horse day two but when you go outside you're not quite sure how, what they're going to do but from experience he's done a lot of you know james had lots and lots of uh trotty <laughs> and his trot is very uncomfortable but we got lots of gait yesterday and so we're hoping that transitions and we just keep working on it and he becomes a gating machine fixed that's a little pacey which doesn't surprise me so it was a nice gait yes good job sonny and then he got just a little pacey and so when he gets a little pacey, we're going to have to now work a little on some softness and head down. Because uh, he's very calm. He's not a high-headed horse. But if you have a horse that gets a little pacey, you have to ask for just a little more head down, even though he isn't high-headed. So we didn't do a lot of that yesterday because he was very relaxed and he wasn't pacing at all. And a big part of that is that footing inside is just deep enough that uh, the horses tend to be move a little more toward the trot if they are likely to be trotty. Good. And I've had some horses so at clinics where, so say we have a pacey horse, right? And the first day we do head down. And then at the, the end of that, they, uh, the next day, they basically go from pacing to trotting. I mean, with some gait. And then on the third day, they're just like gating machines because they figured it out. And so we got him out of the trot yesterday. So right now I'm just holding the light contact. I'm looking for him to tuck his nose because if he's going to get pacey, what I need is for him to soften and drop his head a little. Good job. And he doesn't, he doesn't understand it yet. We know he's, he's green, basically. Good. 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 Just a little pacey, but not much. That was a little bit of nice gating. I don't know if you guys could see that. That was good. And you said slow gait is fine, right? You're not riding with people that are going fast. OK. So I don't have to worry that I need to push this horse to gait faster this weekend. We just need to get him out of the pace and the trot and a nice slow gait. That's beautiful. And stop before he goes too far. That was great. That was great. Good job. Would you like one treat for that? That was so nice. Look at that. Oh, we like, oh yes, yes, there we go. So that was very nice gating. And the trick is, it's so easy. Okay, so there you got to see a little bit of that horse there, Sonny, and see him go from day one, Trotty, and then you can see how much gating he's doing on day two. I'm gonna put all of his videos, or at least the gating parts that I ride, on the private group later. I think, I'm not sure if they're on there already. But let's say you want to see from the saddle. So this horse is Jack. He's a Rocky Mountain. And these videos are from 2020. And he does have all of his videos on the private training group. So this is ride two where um, we've been doing training. But really, this is the ride focusing on gait. And he ended up being trotty. So I'm going to show you a little bit of ride two and then a little bit of ride six. So we start out at a nice walk. I rode him in the pasture. For like 30 seconds made sure he was listening and he was there he has a very nice head down my goal is always to start out at a walk on a loose rein now i have to use my reins to steer but i'm not holding him back good boy now it's also important to work on head down when you speed up and we've already done that good boy so i'm going to speed him up here if he gates we're going to slow down and let him eat some grass or try to let him eat grass there's a trot, so I'm gonna lift up. Goal is to get his head up. You can hear that clop, clop. There he switched to a pace and back to the trot. Now the other thing too is I'm gonna keep him going. So now he's pacing, trotting. Yeah, right there is a little better. So we're gonna stop. <sighs> this is how I stop. And this is important because a lot of people seem to have difficult standing, uh, either in the pasture or on the road or the trail. Now, it's one thing if the other horses were leaving, but they're not. Stand, go on the buckle, loose reins, take a deep breath, 
intend to stand and praise him. That's the goal is to stop and praise. I know. He's like, but we just started our ride. I know, but he is willing to stand, and that's the important part. I won't make him stand for too long when we've just started out. I don't want to frustrate him. Good. So I'll lift my reins up just a little. Yes, there's a couple steps of nice gait there. So we'll take him over here. Oh, okay. He has to learn that it's okay to eat grass when I tell him. We go over to the side. Okay. Want some of the grass? Good. So for gating, he gets to come over and take some bites of grass. Or dandelion leaves, as it would seem. And he gets time to chew them, if he'll stand. Most horses are very willing to stand if you make it worth their while. Uh, most horses <laughs> learn to stand within a matter of 10 minutes or so riding with me, and not because I make them work a ton, but just because I, it's standing is good. It's a break. Yes! Good boy! So there was a few steps of gate. So we'll take him back over here. Okay, so that was Jack. That was uh, day two there. And he is doing really, really well. But you guys are probably thinking like, but you only got a couple steps of gait. How do you get from that to longer? Well, I'm gonna show you day six. So the training sessions were all 20 to 30 minutes long, all on that road, all working on gait. And then this is day six and you can see how he's gating much farther. And that's by doing that stop and praise early on. You can help the horse know what you want them to do. So here you go, here's ride six. Easy, good head down, wait, wait. Slow down. I slow him down with the reins and then I release. Good. Loose reins. Slow down. shadow. Doesn't that look nice? You hear that paka paka? Good. Yes. Nice. Okay. Nice job. Okay, and again, <clears throat> all of Jack's gating videos are on the private training group if you can watch the longer versions of all of those. So the trot is, is something you have to, to, you know, get them out of the trot to get them to gait. We talked about, you know, when they're trotting, we lift their head up to get gait. That's still very true. Um, let's see, we've got a couple comments here. Uh, April says that that's exactly what she does to get, um, when she's on Mandy, to get when she gets trotty. And then Kimberly says she is stopping praying with praise with Valencia. And not only did she get an amazing gait, but she stops like a quarter horse. She slams on the brakes. Well, that's awesome. Um, so the trotty horse is often easier and I often get m very quick results with the trotty horse. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. I have another, um, we're going to talk about, this is the broken trot. There's no audio on this except for me talking. This is a, a trotty horse, um, uh, from 2021 and he has some nice steps of gait right there, but we're going to see in slow motion, this is the broken trot. You can see how the two legs lift, but the front lands and then the back. It's not quite a trot, but it's also not an even four beat gait. And by lifting the head up, we're trying to change how the body moves and change that timing. Uh, so that right there, it sees almost trotting. See how the feet land almost together on that diagonal? And then now we've got a nice little gait there and then he got trotty again. So we're gonna watch that again in slow motion, I think. So here, he starts to get trotty. You can see those legs swinging forward, almost landing together. So actually, no, sorry. That's a nice smooth gait right there. Nice evens. So one, two, three, four. And then right here, he switches and they start landing almost together. So right here, he's going to pick those feet up. See those two land almost together. He's going to do another one where they land almost together. And then my hands are going to come up as I lift his head up saying, no, don't do that. That's not what I want. And then as soon as he smooths out, so I'm going to pull up a little bit harder. He didn't get out of it right away. See me shortening my reins so I can lift up 
pulling up with both reins, getting him to smooth out, and then my hands go back down. Once he starts there, it's a little bit smoother, and then watch my hands come down as I release the reins completely. Do you guys see that? <clears throat> I lifted up as he got trotty, and then as once he smoothed out, I put my hands back down. Super important. We don't want their head to stay up. We want their head to go back down when they get it. Here's him on probably day two or three, I think day two. Nice, beautiful little gait there. Got a little trotty, I lift up, and then my hands go down. And that's important to remember is I lift up, but then my hands go down. So nice little gait here. This is in super slow motion, so you guys can see that footfall really well. So you see that one, two, three, four, very separated steps. Really, really nice. My reins are loose. I'm ready because I know he's going to incline to go to the trot. I'm ready to lift up. See, my reins are loose. Still a nice, even four-beat gait. That's a beautiful saddle rack there. That's what we're seeing. That's what our goal was for all of these horses was a saddle rack. Right here, he starts to transition to the trot. You can see the two legs landing almost together. I try to catch it as quickly as possible by lifting up, lifting up again. Uh, again, this is only day two. This is at a clinic. He said this is in the middle of his second session. Two sessions, two days, and this horse is already gating. So lifting up and then he starts gating again and you'll see my hands go back down and they will stay down unless he starts getting trotty again. And that's important. We give that really, really nice release when the horse is gating. Um, okay, Roxanne says, I can't see because of the writing on the screen. Okay, Roxanne, here's the thing. This, the writing on the screen is something you turn off. If you click on the different... Um, three dots or the little uh, gear icon, you can turn off the automatic captions that are created. I have actually no control over that till the video is done. Turning off the captions is on your side. So I'm really sorry that it's on. I cannot actually control that, I don't think. Um, it's, it's all on the viewer's end. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I can't turn that off. Um, I'm checking really quickly. There we go. I can turn that off. Maybe that'll help. But you guys actually turn that off on your end. So anyway, okay. So uh, next, I want to show, so that same horse, I want to show with some audio as I'm kind of describing what's going on. So I'm going to play some of this and then we're going to end it. Um, and you can see all of his training videos on the private group as well. So if you have any comments, let me know. This is day one of All right, the class. Here we go. So again, I'm just gonna have him move out just so we can see what he's doing. That's a trot. It's a broken trot, so it's not as bad as some trots would be. No cantering. The other thing too, do you guys canter your horses? Okay, that's not bad. Right, it looks beautiful, but my rule, and when you leave, you do whatever you want. But my rule is I love cantering gated horses, but you can only, only ever ask for a canter from a walk. Never from a gate. Or a for him right now, because he wants to canter so easily, you, you only can walk. So like, for example, if I was walking here, I'll just see if he'll do it. And I, I usually I'd put a ground pole out and I say, okay, ready? Yeah, I know you're fine. But as soon as he slows down, like he was gating there, as soon as he slows down, you know, you can't ask for the canter. You have to slow down to a walk. Because if, um, if you want a horse to gate fast, they'll, they'll be lazy and break to a canter instead of staying in gate, which is what he was doing down there. So my rule, canter from a walk, never from a gate. If you're in the show ring, they'll ask for a gate to canter. That's fine, but you're probably not showing. Yeah. So that doesn't even matter. All right, so. You saw him trot, yeah? Just, and if you guys can't see it, take my word, he's gating right there. Good, so we're gonna stop. Good boy, Gus! Pull you when he's saying Well, boy, I know, you're not learning a ton. Um, so, early on, don't take him over rough. Good, I know. So this is day two. Beautiful, and that was a loose rein. Good job, good job. Good boy, I know. You're not learning a ton right now because you're very focused, but. 
<laughs> I know, I know. We are. Yeah, and that's why we're out here. Good. So start with a loose rein. Don't let him speed up though. Slow down. Little trotty, so lift up. Beautiful. Fantastic. Very smooth and calm. Look at how much gating he did right there. That was so nice. So I have a question here. Um, Deb sa Deborah says, my horse skates well on the runny walk or foxtrot at slow speed, but goes right into a trot at speed up even slightly. That's a good point. So Deborah, most likely your horse is not doing a running walk. Um, could be foxtrotting. I need to see a video. Um, if you speed up and they're going into the trot, it's because no one probably trained them and built those muscles up to go faster. So you can use the same training to develop your horse's gait at speed as well. But you have to remember that when you get gait, what do you need to do? You need to stop and praise. You cannot just, once they get smooth, you can't just say, oh, now keep going, use those muscles. You need to be like, that was so good, now take a break. So if you were to use this technique and ask your horse to gait, you would get a little gait that was faster and then stop and praise. Give him that break, let him stand there. That's how he would know that he did the right thing and hopefully he'll keep going. Now, I shared a bunch of videos and I cut them short. Most of those are on the private training group and you can always comment and ask questions. Um, this is a video that I'll probably share a lot because a lot of people come to me with questions about trotty horses. This is just the very, very basics. Um, I go through it a lot in my private or in my, in my gated training DVD. I have a whole disc just on gated and I talk about why we lift the head up, how you get more gait. I have about six horses as examples that are trotty, some really hard and some easier. So I want to just point that out. You can join the private training group. Uh, this is December 2022 and uh, in January, the price is going up to $200. Right now it's $99 and you're in for life. So there's my little plug right there. If you have any questions, better comment quickly because the live video is about to end. We're coming up on Christmas, so I'm not sure how many more live videos I'll do. If you have any suggestions for videos, let me know. I have topics that I will be covering soon, but I need to get footage and, you know, holidays. It's getting busy and things like that. So that's unfortunate. Uh... I'll be doing some fun stuff coming in January and do a video on how to stay warm in the winter. You know, lots of fun stuff coming up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. I'll try to reply to those later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay warm. Keep at it. You got this.